where US 321 crosses the Eastern Continental Divide in the Blue Ridge Mountains, just south of Blowing Rock, the Green Park Historic District exemplifies an early 20th century mountain summer resort community. Inextricably linked with the geography of the area, the historic structures that populate the district reflect the natural environment and their building materials. Rock walls, wood shingles, stone facades, and natural landscaping form a cohesive link between the man-made and the natural environments. The Green Park area of Blowing Rock was designated a National Register Historic District in 1994. Green Park takes its name from the Green family who owned the land on which the community was established. Green Park was an unincorporated community with its own post office until it was annexed by Blowing Rock in 1926. The district contains the Green Park Inn, the Blowing Rock Country Club and Golf Course, Mount Bethel Reformed Church and Cemetery, and an assortment of late 19th and early 20th century summer cottages. Constructed after 1845, the Lenore Blowing Rock Turnpike connected the trading center of Lenore to the small village of Blowing Rock. Completion of the turnpike spurred tourism in the area. The cool mountain air provided a great escape from the summer heat in the lower Piedmont areas of the state. Blowing Rock developed as a summer destination as part of a larger trend throughout the mountains of western North Carolina. Flat Rock, Black Mountain, Cashiers, and Roaring Gap were all regarded as excellent summer vacation spots. Blowing Rock became more popular when the Western North Carolina Railroad was extended from Hickory to Lenore in 1884. From Lenore, visitors would take a short carriage ride to the new hotels and resorts that sprang up around Blowing Rock. George Harper, along with other prominent businessmen from Lenore, built the Green Park Inn in 1882. It is the second oldest of the surviving resort hotels in North Carolina. Stretching nearly 300 feet along US 321, the impressive three-story hotel retains many of its original Queen Anne elements, such as the shingled third floor and gables, curved brackets, and lattice arches. Major additions in the 1920s reflect the simpler colonial revival architectural style popular at that time. The late 19th century visitors to the Green Park Inn came from high society Piedmont families, and they often occupied the hotel for the entire summer. Many brought their own maids and nurses for the children. The hotel catered to their clientele with fine food, classical music, and every Saturday night the hotel hosted a ball accompanied by a full orchestra. The hotel also featured a billiard hall and a bowling alley. The Blowing Rock Development Company purchased the hotel and surrounding 365 acres in 1913, and by 1915 they reached an agreement with neighboring landowner Rufus L. Patterson to construct a nine-hole golf course on their adjoining lands. In 1922, the course was expanded to 18 holes. The course stretches northward, uphill from Green Park Inn to Wonderland Drive. Green Park's premier geographical feature is known as the Blowing Rock, a jagged rock formation which forms a cliff overhanging the Johns River Gorge 3,000 feet below. Because of the rock's shape and size, wind currents from the gorge often blow vertically, causing light objects to float upwards into the sky. The attraction has brought visitors to the area since the 19th century. In 1935, Grover C. Robbins, who held the lease on the Blowing Rock property from the Bernhardt family of Lenore, built the Stone Reception Center and gift shop, which serves as the entrance to the tourist attraction. Many prominent families built summer homes here. Around Green Park Inn, several lots were sold to wealthy businessmen from the Piedmont, including James William Cannon of Cannon Mills, the Cones family, the Broyhills, and the Harpers. A few of the summer homes were designed by well-known architects. Boston architect George M. Champney built a home on the top of Gideon's Ridge for the Landau family. Constructed with the red stone from Grandfather Mountain, the once private home is now the Gideon's Ridge Inn. The majority of the summer cottages built in the 1920s were small, craftsman-style bungalows. Together, these cottages create a distinctive style of resort village architecture. Common features for these cottages include chestnut bark shingles, 
stone foundations and chimneys, and native rock retaining walls, walkways, and stone steps. Mount Bethel Reformed Church is the oldest church building in Blowing Rock. The church building was dedicated on the first Sunday of November in 1894. Land for the church was donated by Jacob Klutz. The cemetery is the final resting place for Jacob Klutz and his wife, and several members of the Green family for whom Green Park was named. The network of roads, avenues, and pathways make a significant contribution to the physical character of the Green Park Historic District. The narrow, curvilinear roads conform to the topography of the land. Native plantings, grassy knolls, and low stone walls combine to tie the built environment with the natural landscape of the mountainside. From inception, the communities of Green Park and Blowing Rock have sought to increase tourism as a base for their economic structure. With improvements to the transportation systems, the summer resort communities have burgeoned in population, both permanent residents and tourists alike. With the increase in popularity of the area, the transportation system has been taxed beyond its current capacity. The most prudent and feasible solution is to widen US 321 from its current two lanes to four lanes of traffic. In doing so, there will be adverse effects to the historic district, including the displacement of the stone walls along the road. Contributing resources will lose a portion of their associated grounds for additional right-of-way, and the views within the district and of the district from the road will be changed. To mitigate the adverse effects to the historic district, a memorandum of agreement was reached between the North Carolina Department of Transportation, the State Historic Preservation Office, and the Federal Highway Administration, as well as other parties. This video serves to document the existing conditions of the Green Park Historic District prior to the widening of US 321 and satisfies one of the stipulations of the memorandum of agreement.